Today we have um, a video where I'm just going to show you how to change your Amazon Fire tablet uh, using your PC, how you can go from having a lock screen like this where you have all the Amazon ads um, to switch to a tablet here like this where you have no Amazon ads anymore. We'll also show you how you can install the Play Store on your Amazon tablet. And there's also many other um, useful tips on <clears throat> this tool that you can use. So as I said, we will show you on this tablet that we've done it on before, we have no Amazon ad. On this one, we have the Amazon ad. So what we want to do is we want to take this, this tablet first. So we go into the instructions of how to do it. So first of all, we need to go to our settings, device options. So what you need to do is enable developer options on your tablet. So if you keep pressing this, it'll come up to enable developer options. I've just done already. We go into developer options. Then we need to enable our ADB debugging. So this will allow us to plug into the computer and run this tool. So let me try and see, can we get them both in screen? So let me switch to the computer first. So the tool we're gonna to be using here is Fire Toolbox. So I'll leave a link down in the uh, description below to get this tool. So this is a great tool here. Um, for basically changing your Amazon tablet into just an Android tablet. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna take our cable which is already plugged in and plug it in here. So we get this, so it's connected to a low power charger, that's okay, because it's from the laptop. So there's allow the debugging from the computer. So we say, okay, so you can click always allow if you want, it doesn't matter. And then we can see we've got changes here. So from here we can run an ADB shell. So if you want to run some shell commands yourself, you can do this. We have custom launchers. So you have like your Nova launchers, if you like different kind of Android launchers, custom sounds, density modifier, Google Assistant, manage your Amazon apps lock screen, Google services. There's many different, um, <clears throat> there's many different tools you can run here. So the first thing we're gonna to go to is the lock screen management. So we can change lock screen wallpaper, remove the ads, disable the lock screen or change. So we're gonna try and, we're gonna try and remove the lock screen ads so that we won't have the Amazon ads anymore. So we execute this. So it comes with a notice. So click yes. So this is gonna run the updates then on the tablet. Removing ads. So there's a, so you might need to remove, uh, stop the over there updates for your tablet because that might re-enable the lock screen ads. So, as I said, it's already done disabling of this by using this tool. So obviously if you re-update the tablet, it's gonna stick the ads back on. So let's see, remove our tablet if we, oh, so now, no, get rid of some of these messages. So now you can see, we now have no more Amazon lock screen on our tablet. So now the next thing that we might want to do is run, is get Google Play, uh, Play Store on this. So if there's a lot of more apps on the Play Store, so we can go Google services. So, so Google services, see that. So the Play Store and download any apps. So we don't want contacts or calendar sync, we just want to get the the Play Store on our tablet. So we run through this. So hopefully it'll install 
all of the apps and services needed. Okay, so we're back. So it says that our Play Store is now installed, but it is recommended to wait 10 minutes before signing in. So if we actually move over to the tablet, we can see Google Play Store is actually, so we're not gonna, we're gonna wait the 10 minutes to sign in. But let's see if we go down to our apps, we can see that the Play Store is now there. So we'll wait 10 minutes and come back to that. But in the meantime, what we might so again another so what we might do is we might in the meantime while we're waiting for that for ten minutes, we might manage the Amazon apps. So in this, so as you can see on your tablet, if anyone has an Amazon tablet, you know that you have all your Amazon um ads, you also have your uh, swipe across your for you your library so you can get all of this to remove it to basically be like an android tablet now what we might just do today is get rid of some of these uh, <clears throat> basic amazon apps that we don't use on this tablet now this does not uninstall the app so it doesn't make any more room on your tablet but it just disables them from use so they're not there to be used anymore so with this tool you can do it automatically here so you can do complete deep load standard one or you can do your own and then you can also restore them so we go a standard one so it'll remove maps music newsstands a good few of the apps but whereas if you go complete deep load it removes uh, a lot more ad or a lot more apps again so what we want to do is just, we're just going to do a standard one here now at the moment. So we might see we might see them delete or show or hide from uh, the tablet when we do this. So we'll execute and see how it gets on. Congratulations, it looks like all the packages were successfully hidden. So again, an update may bring these all back in. Um, but as you could see, it was moving there. Nearly all of them are gone now. We still have a couple. We still have the browser, the app store. Um, Alexa is still there, Amazon Kids. But you see a lot of the other, the apps have now been um, gotten rid of from your tablet. So this is if you don't want to be using any Amazon apps at all. So again, we wait a few minutes again, and I'll just show you that the Play Store is up and running then. So we'll come back in a few minutes uh, once we sign into the Play Store. Okay, so we're back. We're signed in on our Play Store now. So you can see you have all your Play Store. So we might just maybe see can we install the game from the Play Store. Except... So now we should be able to download it's pending. So now it's downloading. So what I done in the meantime was I actually went and changed the launcher as well, put a new launcher, uh, which you'll see now in a second, but there is one issue with the home button that it goes back to the your regular launcher first for five seconds this is just a bug with it but then it goes to like your android setup here so now as you can see we have a setup just like a android tablet there's no more amazon uh things here so it's great to see it like that um, so again, you don't need to change the, the launcher if you don't want to. You can keep it the way you want, but see, open cameras. There's a camera. So then, again, if we go to the home, I'll bring to the Amazon tablet, or the Amazon home first, and then it'll kick in. So let's just see, did that. 
Crystal down in store, yes. This is stone. Solid here. So let's do this there. And here we have it now. So let's, there it is from the Play Store. So again, this is the Fire Toolbox. So I'll leave the link down below. And I also forgot, so there's a lot more. You can change your keyboards and layouts. And there's also then a second page here where you sideload apps and just many more um, <clears throat> settings you can do with your tablet to configure it whatever way you like. So I hope that uh, would help some of you out to uh, change some of the settings on your Amazon tablet. Thanks again for watching. So please like and subscribe for more.